Who stooged you off? One of the boys? Hogan. Hogan stooged you off, okay. Well, that, uh, that was because of the lawsuit. Right, okay. Yeah, no, during the lawsuit, we had to depose Vince. I told my attorney about the union thing. I said, if you can find out who told Vince in this deposition, and I told him those stories. So at that point, my attorney's very brilliant because they ended up beating Vince. Right. He had Vince sitting there, and he said, Mr. McMahon, in deposition, he says, anyone, does, has, has wrestling ever had a union? And Vince, of course, said no. My attorney said, has anyone ever tried to form a union? And Vince paused me and said, yeah, he said, I think Jesse Ventura spouted his mouth off about it one time or another, because now Vince didn't like me. I'm suing him, right? And my attorney said, well, did you hear Mr. Ventura say it? And, and Vince, with no hesitation, said, oh, no, Hogan, Hulk Hogan told me. And I didn't show no emotion, but I almost fell to the floor, because Hogan was a friend. And I found out, my God, it was Hogan who stooged me to Vince for trying to you and Hogan denies it. Well, Vince admitted it under under oath in a federal deposition, and he also admitted it on Larry King's show because Larry breached the subject with him, and he backed it up again. So you tell me who's lying, Hogan or Vince? Wow. I know Hogan went on Howard Stern, and I don't know if he wanted to comment about this at all, and he made some accusations uh, about you being a wife swapper and smoking pot with uh, you and Adrian Adonis. Was that even, that's all? Well, first of all, yeah, I smoked pot. Who didn't? Right. Wife swapping? Ridiculous. Okay. Uh, let me f f challenge back and go, I've been married 37 years to one woman. What happened to his wife? Okay, I just so I had to throw that out there and ask you that question. Uh, yeah, why do you think I hate him now? Right. That he would go out and say, I'm a wife Have you heard that before, or is this the first time? Howard told me. Okay, yeah. Okay. I know about it. Howard told me when I was on with him. Okay. That's the biggest crack of crap. I've ever heard. Oh, yeah, I had the Plato's Retreat stuff. My wife and I went down there. We wanted to see what it was. We watched it, and I bought a T-shirt because I knew it would be controversial as hell. Huh, right. Yeah, because I used to wear with the beads Plato's Retreat when I wrestled in 81, I think, or something like that. Wife swapping. Are you surprised that uh, Hulk Hogan is still in the business full-time? <laughs> yeah. And do you find it sad? Yeah, I find it pathetic with the amount of money he's made and that he hasn't always oh, done his TV shows and his movies, but geez, why would you still be climbing into a ring or doing things like that at his age with the amount of money he made? But then again, uh, I, they just gave me Linda's book. Right. And I haven't read it yet, but I imagine maybe now he has to. Divorce. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm sure Linda did pretty well in that divorce. Without I don't doubt. think she's hurting today. And, uh, uh, but yeah, I, I really do because I think, because uh, Hulk Hogan has become what we all hated. When we were all young, we, used to, we couldn't stand these old guys that were so far over the hill and yet you had to put them over. And now he's become the very thing that he, that right. we all hated before he has now become that. And you'd think he'd see it. You'd think he'd realize, wait a minute. I'm in the position that so-and-so was back when I was 25 or 30. It's time to pass the torch and give the younger guys a rub. Okay. You were very protective of your family during your time as governor. Are you surprised that, uh, I guess, Hulk Hogan has put his family out there in the way he has? I would never put my family on a reality show. And in fact, if you listen to Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne today, they said it was a major mistake. Right. Even though I'm sure they made a ton of money. Uh, yeah. Uh, but but I've learned Hogan will prostitute himself for anything. Okay. You know, I, I wouldn't do it. I would never, ever do that to my family.